to today's video. Today it's the second episode of my Supermoto build series on my Husqvarna 1.5. So in this episode I'm going to tear down the engine, replace some parts and Cerakote the crankcases as well as the cylinder. I haven't taken apart an engine like this in a while, but it is a 1.5 two-stroke engine so it can't be too complicated. But hopefully I will do everything correctly when uh, yeah, both disassembling and as well when I'm reassembling it with uh, new parts. But now let's tear down the engine. Okay, as I said, I haven't taken apart an uh, engine in some time. So I'm just gonna remove parts until it's yeah, nothing left. As well as putting bolts and stuff in uh, some of these plastic bags so I can help myself remember where all the bolts go when I rebuilding the engine later. Because I don't know how long it will be until I do that. Uh, but I think I should remember the most of them. But it's always nice to have them sorted and uh, leave some notes where they all go. The cylinder is actually in really good condition. I think the bike has like 300 hours, but I think the cylinder is looking really good. The piston though, it probably haven't been uh, replaced in, uh, in a while, so I think it's definitely time to go through the engine and uh, swap out some of the parts. In here I have a new stator that I got from Ecke, but there's a lot of dirt in here. And the flywheel is really nasty. But I'm basically going to fix up every part on this engine to basically new. That's insane how crusty it is. It's probably been so much water in here. Kind of weird that the main bearings are kind of good, but they they make some sound, so it's definitely time to replace those. As well as the seal here, it's rusty and bolts in here are super rusty as well. So it feels good to, to sample all this and uh, replace all the bolts later. The reeds actually look good as well, a bit worn, but uh, for 300 hours or more, probably more, uh, they look pretty good. managed to get the engine apart and split the cases and all that so now I'm going to tear down the cylinder uh, take out uh, the power valve and all the parts uh, for it so I can deeply clean the cylinder later and uh, assemble that and prepare it for Cerakote
sandblasted and now I'm going to remove all the masking I did to protect the surfaces that I didn't want to sandblast. I also left the old seals and bearings in the parts for some extra protection when I sandblasted. Uh, so now I'm going to remove all the masking and the seals and after that throw the parts in the oven to make it a bit easier to remove the bearings and to burn off any oils that could be left on the surface. So the crankcases and the cylinder is now Cerakoted and I also just received the parts that I did order for the engine. So here is a gasket kit with all the gaskets, uh, some seals and uh, o-rings. And I also ordered all the bearings for the engine, uh, piston and the seals that wasn't included in the gasket kit. And I also got the crankshaft back with a new connecting rod and bearing and the crankshaft is also balanced also got help to install the inner race for the bearing so now i think i have all the parts that i need to reassemble the engine again so i'm just gonna leave the bearings in the freezer for some time and then we can start reassembling the engine
said, I'm swapping out all the bearings in the engine. So of course I'm going to swap out this as well. But I don't know why this one is missing a seal. Uh, this bearing is supposed to have a seal on one of the sides. Uh, so I don't really know why this one is missing it. But uh, yeah, I'm replacing it with a new one that has a seal. So it will be correct. Here's a new bearing. And as you can see, this bearing has a seal on one of the sides. So now the crankshaft and the gearbox is installed, so now it's time to bolt the cases together. And for that I have got some help from Bolt, they have sent an engine fastener kit. This includes pretty much all the bolts that I'm going to need to put the engine back together. So I'm going to have new hardware for the engine. They also sent new seals and springs for the exhaust, as well as new mounts for the pipe. They also sent a Bolt Pro Pack. This kit has a lot of different bolts, so if I'm going to need to replace anything when I'm putting the bike together, if there's any bolt missing or it's super rusty, I'm probably going to find a replacement in this one. So big thanks to Bolt for supporting the build. Let's open up the engine fastener kit and bolt the cases together. Here, crank case. So these are probably the bolts we are going to need to put the cases together. A new copper washer, probably for the oil truck. And neutral meters apparently.
So the engine is now completely put back together. It took a lot of time to uh, record this as I did the whole engine in one episode. Uh, I took it apart, cleaned, sandblasted, circoated the cases, cylinder, water pump. Yeah, I circoated basically everything. Yeah. All new bearings, connecting rod, piston, seals, gaskets. Yeah, basically a whole new engine. And uh, it turned out even better than I thought it would. So I'm excited to put this back into the frame. And the frame I actually just went and picked up from the powder coating place and man that turned out so good it's insane but I'm not going to show you how the frame turned out in this episode but I will do in the next one because in the next episode I'm going to reinstall the engine into the frame and that I'm super excited to see because I didn't get the frame powder coated in a normal color it's a little bit different than usual but that you will have to wait for the next episode to see. So stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming episodes of the build series. But that has been it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one when I will show you the frame. Thanks again, see you in the next one.